two bands, different eras, shared wit. This is FFS. Collaborations don't work. Or do they? It's a wry and slightly shy union. Sparks, the 70s synth pop group that specialised in dramatic falsettos and awkward stares, have met their match in Scottish rockers Franz Ferdinand. It all feels like one elaborate gag that starts with a broken tooth. I ended up in San Francisco looking for a dentist. I've got a terrible sense of direction. Was walking, walking up and down this street, totally lost when I heard this voice behind me going, Alex, is that you? And I turned around and Ron and Russell were standing there. And uh, we got talking, we hung out, went to their show that night, and afterwards said, whatever happened to that collaboration we were talking about? And uh, this time we, we made it happen. It felt like a real uh, kinship between the, the two bands. I mean, the bands don't sound alike, but there's, there's kind of a shared spirit of, of ambition. Sparks never quite fitted in with the glam rock spirit, but it didn't stop them being unexpectedly mobbed by the mainstream at a gig in Croydon. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Those were the days, yeah. <laughs> no, it was, it, it, was, it was a really strange time for us. It was really hard to rectify how doing that in this country, it got that reaction, and doing it back home in the States, we got, you know, kind of yawns. They want to provoke a reaction. Tell everybody to piss off. And are well aware of the pitfalls of a partnership. Were you wary of how your fans would receive the whole idea of a collaboration? I, I, th I think piss off uh, is more of a message to the fans than to each other. <laughs> 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 We're saying join with us in our just general, uh, you know, mm. uh, disturbed sort of way at the at whatever your situation might be that you're bothered with. Is this true that you were ever banned from France for fashioning a Hitler-like moustache? Well, I, I, it, it, that is true, yeah. I mean, for a long time, I, I thought of it more as Chaplin-esque uh, moustache, but... There were people that put more political significance into the mustache than I had, than really was intended. And so there was a presenter on a on a big French uh, TV variety show, and he wanted us on for the music. But then he saw the the uh, photo and he said, "No, no, no." This musical marriage was consummated early on. Franz Ferdinand performed a Sparks track when they first got together. But they've been in the middle of a battle for separation recently, performing at a rally for Scotland's Yes campaign. Yeah, I'm a man of a few words. In fact, tonight I'm a man of one word. And that word is yes! I expected the, the referendum vote to go the other way, or I had a feeling it might go the other way. It didn't, but um, uh, it's fascinating seeing the results of the general election. and. Uh, uh, I look forward to hearing some of those debates in, in the Commons. That's, that's going to be pretty good. I'm looking forward to some pithy one-liners. Yeah. I mean, we don't want, want to enter the discussion, but just as a piece of advice, occasionally it does work when you split from uh, Britain. But. <laughs> <laughs> but in this, you know, every case is different. This summer, FFS will take their irreverent branding cult appeal to grace one of the many stages at Glastonbury. I was shocked that there's so many bands that are all really good playing at the exact same time. I'm not even going to go see our show. I'm not even going to be in because there's, there's a couple other acts I'm going to see. You're so going to watch Donovan, aren't Yeah, I'm going to go to Donovan, so hell with FFS, man. <laughs> But you get the sense they're relieved to have found some other guys who get the joke. 